Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Dead Space with me, Dr. Munchkin. Last time, if you've been following along our New Game Plus playthrough, uh, we have uh, just completed Medical Bay Intensive Care. Got the shock pads and stuff, but now we need to uh, turn the engines back on to try to get out of here. <clears throat> and that's where we're picking up. But uh, before we get started, if you guys like this content and would like to see more, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. But with that, let's go. There's a bunch of stuff, if I recall, over here. This is mine that don't really need those. I have a ton in storage. Now we do end up coming back over here, by the way. Because in here is where the marker is. Or the other one. Uh, that one is where the marker comes up. This allows us to open this up over here, and that's where it is. The diamond is uh, the diamond circuit board, which is worth. 25,000, mind you, is uh, located in that level 3 security item. But unfortunately, we won't have level 3 security for quite some time. So. Let's go ahead and continue on. Also, one of the first rigs. I guess I can show you guys where it is for the master security side quest which we already have is over here hopefully it shows up on this picture at least it was over here maybe it's not anymore since I already have I don't know But yeah, that's where the first one is. You can get it early um, before you trigger the events. And before we go into. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. It's not there. It's in the. It's where off of the area. Go to see, pick it up. It's like off the gym, it's not a problem. Yep, you see the purple thing? Right here. There you go. That's the first rig. I believe there were seven in total.
Yeah, we'll just grab the oxygen real fast. I know we have a ton, but we have max oxygen basically. But why risk it? This is the first mission when we played on normal that we actually did die on as well. Reason being is, uh, we'll get to it, there's a giant centrifuge, and I kind of stepped out when I wasn't supposed to. And, uh, that led to some, um, instant death. Hopefully we don't Exiting run into that problem again. Right. Level 1 security door, which we now have unlocked. Please die. Well, there's my ant back. Yeah, I was wondering. I keep searching for uh, coordinates, and I haven't memorized where all of them are. I know where a few of them are, and uh, we basically purchased everything that we need to purchase from the store. Um, in terms of upgrades for weapons. Warning. Orbital position compromised. Correct course immediately. Alright, this is where we're gonna get into the course correction. That leads to the tram. We leave through there. I'm gonna go ahead and save real fast, so we just have a good save point in case we do die again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm using this as a uh, harder version of Don't Die. Uh, offline, Any offline, control. offline. Any news on the engines? Yeah, but it makes no sense. They're out of fuel. The centrifuge is offline. We're tethered to a four trillion ton payload. Without the engines, it's dragging us down to the planet. Can you handle it alone? Sure. Fix the centrifuge, get the fuel running, then do a full restart. But you'll need to stabilize our orbit from there. Standing by. Fast as you can, Isaac. Where is it? We can sell those. Security request retrieved. We need help down in engineering. Yes. This is why you check the bathrooms. Because they'll scare the crap out of you with showers. Yeah. Um, there's a bench over here. Master security thing that I didn't have yet. Weapon upgrade for the Ripper. Sure can get rid of that. So does that mean yes, I have all the upgrades for the Ripper. I need one for the contact beam, two for the flamethrower, and one for the pulse rifle. It seems. I checked the map. Yep, it doesn't even show it. Now this was we don't have to initially launch at all. But this isn't a cold um sort of her side. I mainly mean, like, came in here for the goodies. We're not gonna watch that. Subject. She's basically doing the autopsy. Yep, find the autopsy location. He ran away. Warning. 
fuel preserves depleted. Main engines offline. Perfect. So we gotta go over here. I hit him like after he died. And he gave me an extra hundred bucks. <laughs> what are we doing on health and stuff? I got three. After we finish this and get back to the main room, we go to the shop, do a little spending. Because I also think, do I have money? Yeah, I got 30,000. We're gonna sell this, this, and those two. Small one. That's nice. Last bell, done. I'm just a sucker for Security picking required. things up. Well, look, am I gonna have to fight you? I'll fight you. We have so much air. I knew you were there. Refueling sequence activated. Sufficient fuel to fire primary engine. Okay, I've got a fuel reading. Only a quarter full, but it should be enough. I still need to get the centrifuge working before restart. Someone really screwed with these fuel lines. Move fast, Isaac. Aegis 7's looking damn close out there. Yeah! Hold on, what? Are you, why are you not dead? Uh! 
I just don't know, like the super ones? Jeez. Alrighty. Well, that was a treat. Alright, did all that. I can see where the oxygen might be a probe. That's a level sec two security door. Don't have that yet. Luckily, there's oxygen right there. And we're just going to run right up there. I think, now that I've played it both ways, I prefer to have the lights out. Reason being, if you guys haven't played this game, is that when you're in a zero oxygen environment, there is no sound. As, you know, <laughs> nothing for the molecules to reverberate off of. So you can't hear that pump, which is the problem. All right, so now we're gonna go over that way. But before we do that, let's go to the shop. Like we said, we would inventory. We're going to sell. So, so, oh. just all the other stuff that we have. I don't want to spend the 10 grand on it, though. I have some in inventory. I oh, sorry, and some in storage, two of them. You can look how many stasis things I have, so that's why I'm selling those. And I have a bunch of ripper ammo, but again, this is a plasma for only run, so it's like, even if I could, I wouldn't be using it. Right. So how much ammo do we have now? 125. That'll be fine to get us through here. And also we have 20,000, so that will buy a lot of, um, a lot more ammo. But we need to make sure we're utilizing stasis to our fullest. So this is going to be the centrifuge area where we died. Grabbing more money. This is my favorite room on the Citadel. <laughs> now this is a uh, this is that one particular room where you're trapped in something. With now we got more health. That's good. Let me there. Yeah, this is the one um, particular. Uh, room that I did not enjoy when I played this the first time. Clearance confirmed. There we go. Oh, there's stuff here. We'll take it, and we'll go here. Let's pop one for good measure. Check contamination 
Okay. We have stasis. Decontamination sequence complete. Thank you for your patience. And look, it even gave us some in. We gotta go to the right, but we'll go to the left. I think there was a pyramid. There was something over here. Look at that, it was paranoid. Again, we need all of them for upgrading all the other ones. Still 111, so we used 14 rounds throughout these fights. This is going to be armed, I want to say. It's going to try to drag me back, I'm going to have to shoot it. Maybe on the way back. Alright, the infamous Centrifuge Room. thing in here somewhere. I hear him, but I do not see him. Get. 
other one looted. Oh, we can sell that. There it is. Ta da! Alright, so let's go grab the other. There it is. And we're gonna wait until it Look passes. like the centrifuge is back online. All that's left is restarting the engines, right? Ready when you are. Like that. Okay, we're gonna run back. Again. Apparently, you can go the opposite direction if you are fast enough. I am not. <laughs> well, there is a trick. Apparently, if you put um, toggle sprint on, I want to say. Let's make sure we have stages. I didn't see you there, buddy. And we're good. And now this is where the arms come to grab us. Back this way. Now we got a main moving light dungeon. That is a big fight for me. That's where I believe our next marker is. Behind one of the engines. There's also a power node in there. We're doing good. We're going to actually pop one. Doing good stasis. And how was the ammo? You should be fine. Seventy. Got it. Isaac, fuel storage is unlocked. It'll give you access to the engine chamber. Entering zero gravity. Yep. Yeah. Hey Hammond, I cracked the secure files. 
behind it, but we can't access that. I think it's level 3 until much, much later. Hopefully, I think this is where we would pick up the flamethrower. Okay. Oh, well. Yes, it does. Back to the main area. I don't even go this way. There. Yeah, we're going to be running this little, little ferment guys. So here's the door I was mentioning. Level 3. So you go back there, and you will have another, um, another rig. Some juke. Engineering lock. I don't care. But we want to get all the other stuff that's all the other goodies. Like this power node. Which is why we come in to these rooms. Now the only issue is those little guys that are like, oh my gosh, we're gonna jump on your back. We don't have the flamethrower anymore. Um, so we're not allowed to use it. And so that is gonna lead to some problems. Oh, there's just a little thing over here. Perfect. We'll do a big uh, upgrade later once we have a bunch of power nodes. We'll pop that. and actually covers the cost of six ammo. Yeah, the whole name of the game is just give me ammo. Oh, 
I forgot. I think I had super stasis. From playing the last time. And super stasis, if I recall. That's from completing one of the side quests. I believe for the Hunter's Origins. It actually hurts them while they're stasis. Don't see anything else, so let's just go through here. safe here because this is a big fight room. in the whole stasis thing. Warning. Engine power failure. Replace power cell to begin ignition sequence. There was a power node. There it is. It's like I found it last time. It's here. And then... Warning. Engine power failure. There it is. Replace power cell to the begin marker ignition fragment. Alright, so we got the marker fragment for this. So what we need to do... Is go over here. We need to replace the power core there. Which is up here. More money is more better. Do this time. And this is gonna start the big fight scene. Which isn't too bad. Engine power failure. Ignition sequence initiated. Please stand by.
Oh, we almost died. Uh, we did. Alright, so now we gotta go up here. Uh, and turn that back on. Well, we manually ignited the engines. I thought there was something there. Oh, there's one of those, uh... No, oh, take the ammo. Um, one of those fires here. Isaac, you did it. The is moving again. No thanks to ever sabotage the fuck out of these engines. You bought us time to figure it out. Autopilot's taking us into geostationary orbit. But wait, you're flying us through the planet crack debris? That's what the asteroid defense system is for. But the ADS is offline. I've got the system readouts here. Hammond, the Ishimur is in rough shape. A couple of bad strikes could finish them off. Shit. Daniels, give me all the data you have. I'll try to adjust course. Isaac, you disable the tram lockdown from engineering. I'll open up the bridge station. Meet me there. We need to work on this together. Where are you? Nicole? I'm here. Nicole! Damn it! Well, let's go to the shop real fast. I don't think there's anyone in here with me. Inventory. So. So. And. So. Hit shop. again. Again, we have so much in reserves, it's kind of ridiculous. But what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. And turn the tram station. Activate the tram, and we have officially completed chapter 3. So now we need to turn the uh, ADS things back to But we'll have to do that next time. So if you guys like the content, would like to see more, please just go ahead and make sure you guys like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys next time. Dr. Munchkin, signing in.